our faces. Today we have a very special unboxing because this comes to us from a Canadian diamond painting company called Crystal Trays. So I ordered a tray and I ordered some of their diamond painting wax, which is called gem wax. So let's open this up. But before we do, if you're new here and you like diamond painting, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. You can join my hive. I post new diamond painting videos on a regular basis. So I have my trusty scissors. Let's open up this little flamingo bag. How cute is that? I'm totally going to save this flamingo bag and use it to send someone else mail. It's all about recycling. Okay, so what's this? Here's my Etsy card, my Etsy invoice. And it comes, ooh. So it's a flamingo bag, flamingo poly bag, and it comes inside, inside of it is another bag. Cool. I'm excited. Oh, this is really nice. I'm going to save this envelope too to send people things in. I like to do that. If you ever order from me from Etsy, on Etsy, you will probably get a reused envelope. Okay, so what do we have in here? Ooh! Ooh! Thank you for your purchase. Care and use instructions for your new crystal trays. Pour your drills and trays. Sh shake gently. Tip backwards. Low diamond painting pen with chosen adhesive. Pick up your drills. Wash your crystal trays in warm soapy water and let dry before next use. Interesting. Gem wax info and instructions. Gem wax is a hard, sticky diamond painting wax that contains beeswax, fragrance, and secret ingredients for maximum maximum stickiness and length of use. It works for all types of drills, including ABs. Gem wax does best at room temperature. Keep gem wax away from children's and pets. Gem wax does not need to be kept airtight. So let's take a look at gem wax before we open up my tray. So this is what they call their super sticky gem wax. I'm gonna smell it. This is coconut cream. Ooh, it smells delicious. It's pretty hard. She said she can't be blamed if it is too super sticky. She said it actually ripped the tip out of one of her diamond painting pens. So I'm excited because I need something that's really sticky. This is bubble gum. Look how pretty that is. Mmm, that smells good too. Okay, so that's the gem wax that I ordered. I believe they were two for $10 Canadian. And then my tray, I believe, was $12. I think. Don't quote me on that. <gasps> wow, look at it. Check this out. Really snazzy. Okay, and then we have a business card. So if you want to check out J Crystal Trays, uh, here's their information. I'll put their information in the description box below as well. Ooh, so snazzy. This is printed really nicely. And it's very wide. Then it comes with two stoppers. Let's try one of them out. So here's the stopper. And sits in there very nice. Okay, so let's try out the trays. And then we'll try out the gem wax as well. Let me just put this stuff aside. Okay, what am I doing with my life? So we have our drills. Pour them into the tray. These are square. I'm going to shake them side to side at an angle. Bring you down a little bit. Shake them side to side at an angle. You can see they line up pretty nicely. So this is, again is their super, super sticky gem wax. I haven't tried their regular gem wax, so I don't know how that would compare. I'm going to dig on the bottom because I don't want to ruin these cute butterflies. So as you can see, I'm already making dents in the wax. Okay, and it is pretty much full. So I'm just wiping off any excess with my finger and then I'm going to pick up a drill so it We'll get any excess out of there. 
Okay, so let's put this back in. I didn't use a lot of it, just a little bit. It smells really good. My hand smells like bubble gum now too. So we will go ahead and do number three. Ooh, there's that satisfying clicking sound. Oh, that is pretty sticky. So, I mean, it feels like it's working fine. Let's put this away and we'll do... Okay, so to pour the drills back in, we'll just go like this. The sides are pretty high. There are some drills that are stuck. Okay. Just drill that stuck here. Now let's try it. So I do like it in my single placer. I will have to use it a bit more to test it out, but uh, so far I'm liking it. Um, let's use it in our multi-placer. So I'm gonna clean out our multi-placer. And now let's use that same gem wax. Again, the super sticky gem wax from Crystal Trays. Just going to scrape it along here is proving to be a little bit difficult because it is so hard. Push it in. Oops, sorry. I keep doing things off camera because I am bad at doing things on camera apparently. So I'm basically just pushing in the gem wax into my multi-placer. Bit difficult to get into the multi-placer but okay so I think it's filled up put that away and now let's multi-place and see from using it right now I could say I would recommend it check it out it is on crystal trays here's the information and the link will be in the description below Check out crystal trays. I really like this little tray. I think the drills line up nicely. And um, I like when you pour it out. It's just easy to pour out. Though some drills did get stuck a little bit. So drill got stuck there. So I would say drills are catching a little bit on the edge here. But nothing like I would super worry about. These trays were really affordable, especially being in Canada. And it did come with two of these stoppers, which is really great. So that is my haul from Crystal Trays. Do a little thumbnail picture for y'all. Let me know your thoughts on Crystal Trays and Gem Wax. Have you ever ordered from them? It's nice to find another Canadian company doing wax and doing trays. So that's awesome. If you're new here, go ahead and click the subscribe button. I post new videos on a regular basis. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye!